All right. Look, perhaps some people who want to come into the kingdom may not have romance in mind, but there's many different types of love, and for some of the villagers who want to become members of Lake Gem Kingdom, the queen's finally started to adjust to that name. <clears throat> well, you know, instead of love, perhaps some people want to go ahead and they're thinking about money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, we have a villager potential who um, showed up at, you know, those spring dances that we have to try to pair off our villagers and make sure that everyone finds the love they are searching for. And right now, we currently have a potential new villager who would fill the role of prankster or chancellor very well, and oh, do we ever need both of those roles filled. Um, and, like, I went through the whole list. We took this lovely lady here, and I literally went through the entire list of many, many, many villagers, single and looking for love, and the only person she didn't have awful or bad relationship potential with is 73 year old Penny. And at first I was like, ah, oh, heck no. But you see, this person here, who loves silver and gold and has a bit of a greedy streak, she might be a good pairing for Penny because, again, the word gold digger might be a little bit strong, but I mean, Penny O'Bell is social, humble, and brave. And she's also going to die in two days. <laughs> and she's an amazing five out of five star farmer or livestock farmer who's had a joyful life. She's at least really overjoyed about life. And I figure why not let her go out with a bit of a, a boost of celebration and, and happiness and tossing flowers in the air. And maybe somebody who just happened to slip in in time to go ahead and inherit all of her wealth and her very large house and everything else that she had. <laughs> so let's just see if this works out because this is so funny to me that literally the only person that she paired with is a woman who's about to pass away of old age. But silver and gold painting and dueling. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna go ahead and she likes painting. And, uh, there we go, Sufferings of War. Phew. And I'm gonna say, once again, that actually that wasn't Penny going ahead and having the, the whole marriage thing happen. Oh no, instead with our new arrival of Obel here, that was a little bit of a eager pursuit, especially for the glitter of gold that surprisingly a farmer has gone ahead and piled up over her life from, um, Bergie the writer, you're next up. So how about we have uh, Bermel, <laughs> Bermel Obel. <laughs> I I hope you enjoy your house. It's actually not as big as I think you were hoping for, and I, um, we don't really have the wood just yet to spend on it. But I'm also very very happy that we managed to go ahead and get Bermel because the kingdom has become uh, a little bit a little bit bored. Morale is down. People aren't talking to each other as well as they used to. And really, everyone's kind of unhappy. More, like that's really making everyone, especially the artisan class, lose a ton of their morale. And that's really making it hard to keep the kingdom nice and productive. Uh, so, you know, we want to make people more entertained. How do we do that? Well, either with more actors or making sure that the prank shop has somebody working in it. And when I popped into the prank shop to see who would be the best people working in it, they're literally all very, very old men. Grace, Rainbow, and the next person who could potentially pop on over is Light the Chancellor. I'm tempted to go ahead and have Light become one of the people who work here because he actually is not having a good time as Chancellor. He is fighting with the royal consort's brother. Uh, he's just not getting along at all with Cobalt Golden Apple, who is the younger brother of the king, uh, who really kind of wiggled in here a little bit. Um, and Bramel actually would fill that job pretty well. So we're gonna let her take over as chancellor. And we're also going to have her try to do something to make the artisanal class feel a little bit better. 
Cobalt also is supposed to be working on that, and somehow he's still not... Still not really. <laughs> like, how is that happening? Yeah, he's still not really doing the best with that. Oh man, we're gonna really have to make sure we, we try to accomplish something there. Um, maybe I should have him work on the nobles then? All right, we'll split that. There we go. Uh, and then we're gonna let Light leave running the Chancellor-ness and trying to like maintain the politics of the kingdom and instead lean into enjoying his old age at the old men's prank shop. Look at that. That's hilarious. Grace, Rainbow, and Light. The three old men running the prank shop of the kingdom. I, I just think that's really adorable. Ah, and look at that! It took us up from bored to amused. Thank freaking goodness, we needed that little bit of help. Uh, but yeah, we're about to have somebody become widowed, so why don't we just kind of... <sighs> why don't we just let that happen? And Meg, by the way, you are a potential good baker. Do I need another baker? Or another innkeeper? It looks like I could use... Ah, uh, what else could you do? Or a butcher. Hey, I don't have anybody at the butcher shop which we're gonna say is totally based off of beans and more beans. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade that a little bit for you. Have you have a better life expectancy because what a sad job to have to work. Uh, and then I'm just kind of waiting because I, I know any second now we're gonna be told that Penny O'Bell has passed away. <laughs> Oh dear, we have a homeless villager. Uh, who is it? Who's missing a house? Who grew up on me? Shell, it's you? Shell Barry. Shell Barry has grown up. He is homeless. But before the queen is going to allot some of the dwindling supply of uh, lumber to him, let's see if he pairs off with anybody in the village. We have so many people here. I know you grew up with everyone here, but you don't need to be picky. Come on. Okay, he's picky. <laughs> All right, I'll get you a house, Shell. Oh, all right, pop on in. There you go. And then while we kind of side-eye and wait... Oh, oh, the Assassin's Guild just grew. Wonderful, wonderful. Because the Grim Nails just welcomed in another child. Um, though I do love seeing how M. Grim Nail happens to be a five-star, 10 out of 10 gardener, uh, or like gatherer, working in our apple fields really love that she would be a really really good mentor to someone i mean she's a little tired for that right now as a young parent but she's smart social hardworking, proud she's oh my gosh <gasps> m and east those are the two who adopted natan natan stoneberry when you know his dad died and then his other dad didn't adopt him it was tri quite tragic uh we need to get you some more stones you two because you have a full house their children range in age from the 13-year-old Natan who they adopted to 9-year-old Spider, 5-year-old Nature, and they now have a brand new itty-bitty baby who somehow just made the Assassin's Guild pay even more attention to us, who's going to be named Elle! Ellie! Let's see, let's actually, uh, Ellen? Yeah, Ellen! After Alini. So, Ellen, welcome. You do like money. Perhaps you shall grow up to become, well, you're actually really good at being a potential chancellor, so we like to see that. Good at managing potential relationships. Grace just died. That wasn't the next death I was expecting. And that literally was one of our prankster old men. I am going to imagine he didn't die at love at first sight, not here. Instead, I'm going to imagine that Grace died because he laughed too hard. Death by hilarity, such as in Sims 4, basically. <laughs> so Evergreen, we're gonna say you made him laugh so hard that our old man Grace at 77 just died. How? How? Well, it wasn't the death I was waiting for, but in a way it was the death I was expecting. <laughs> Oh, and I don't know if I can sit around and wait for enough stones just yet, but I do want to expand the Grimnail family's house because I'm just very impressed with their um, their capabilities. And I also need to get a lot more resources across the board for everybody. And Penny has finally passed away. It says she tripped over her cat, but 
really, I think it was old age. And then again, the cats have joined the Assassin's Guild. So a little of this, a little of that. And she has passed away, leaving behind at least a new chancellor <laughs> to inherit all of her wealth. Oh, okay, let's see. Where are we here? Shell, Latte, look, Latte, you, I'm trying to find you somebody before you die of old age. You are shockingly hardy for your age as well. Whoops, I was supposed to try to pair you with the other person. But look, if you don't have a perfect match, I'm just gonna have to bounce and move on because we have a whole bunch of like unmarried people and I need lumberjacks. Let's just go down the line. Okay, if you're a merchant, good. That's enough for the queen. She will take this. Welcome, Mirabelle. Uh, you are a coward who's energetic and kind. Always love to see more merchants. And also a crouper, which I think is something to do with gambling, reminds the queen that perhaps the risk of a gambling den, which would add a lot of prestige, is worth it if, um, you know, you want to take a little roll of the dice of destiny and try to get even more money. I could see how Queen Saffron, who loves the glitter of gold, could be very conflicted. On the one hand, potential to lose gold. On the other hand, potential to gain gold. Yeah, maybe we'll work on getting the gambling den in. All right, but good affinity is good enough right now. So dancing and muscles, let's see. So dancing, countryside, silver and gold. All right, let's go, let's go. Speed dating, we have so much going on. All right, uh, importance of money and then uh, she likes muscles. Yes. Oh, dang it. All right. Didn't like muscles, but that's okay. All right. Welcome to the village. I'm very happy that you have joined the rat healer family. I'm gonna, I'm trying so hard to actually make things go. Just, <laughs> no. Oh, look, now we're having the ball to try to get everybody married off. This is just hilarious. The ball is the perfect time to dance to this kingdom's most talented musician's cheerful music. Music time! Galactic is under the spells of Tessa's musical skills. Gathering some courage, she went to ask him if he could teach her to play an instrument. But of course, and then if Galactic had any stage performance that would have a special effect, um, she has zero stage performance, or not on your life, which would be arrival level enemies galactic would be sad tressa would be furious tessa you're kind i think you're devout well-mannered rowdy we're gonna let her try even though she has zero stage performance ouch galactic played so many wrong notes that tessa ended up laughing loudly however he later suggested that galactic come to his place for some private lessons oh then we end up with secret crush galactic are you married uh, uh, are you married? Yeah, <laughs> dang it. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna just kind of keep moving. Uh, the secret crush. This is why the queen knows that everybody needs to hurry up and get married. Uh, look, Spacey, do you have anybody here? We're just gonna zoom through. Latte, you're a perfect match or nobody. Oh, look at that. Wisty and Spacey are a perfect match for each other. That's adorable. Muscles, countryside, cuddles. Don't like silver and gold. They're both focused on other things, even though I threw Wisty into the merchant career. Sorry about that, Wisty. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's, there we go. All right. Let's see. Cuddles, muscles, countryside. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Uh, almost, almost, almost. Phew! Yay! Oh, it's always nice when it's people in the village. That was a two for one. <laughs> Meg, what about you? Anybody in the village? All right, go, 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 go. Looks like the answer is no. That's fine. We're gonna go down the list. All right, bunny. Uh, let's see, anybody in the village? Nope. You know, one perfect match out of the lot is not bad. Uh, Cause it's just good to see. It's been a long time since we've had a perfect match. The queen would like to see more of that, but it's just been so busy. No, you weren't supposed to go on this date. Tessa, Pascal, no, no, I don't want you two to be on this date. It was an accident. It was an accident. Oh, dancing, poetry, dueling, but they would have bad affinity. Uh, all right, let's, let's, this is the first time I'm going to have to like try to destroy a date. This is the first time we're actually trying to like, it's not wedding crashing. 
Like, wreck a date? Like, okay, if it's- you crash a wedding, are we- are we speed bumping a date, I guess? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just- uh, food's disgusting? Ah! No! I was going for the other direction! You know what? What if they have a good date, but we don't let them get married? <gasps> yes! Yes! Okay, um, criticize countryside. But then, even though it's a match, they don't. They're interrupted on their date. Yes! Oh my gosh! I didn't know that I could, I could like, run away from that. Sorry about that, Tess. I was just trying to, like, go through and see if you were any good with anybody here. The answer's no. <laughs> Oh, all right, good affinity with- oh, I don't even know who this Elise person is. It was an accident. Um, you really just hate things together? I like Arabella to try to have a little bit more of a bond between our villagers. You know what? Everybody currently has a house shell. Let's go ahead and text with you real quick. And then Bermel Obel, you were just widowed because Penny died. She was 73, but at least you got to get, like, whatever inheritance she left behind. Uh, I think you're actually gonna have the sad widowed thing right now. At least you seem to have sincerely missed her. Oh my gosh. Alright, I need a break from looking at couples, because it's just- it's just a lot going on there. Uh, and at least we can go ahead- Seagull! Now you're grown up too! Seagull rat nest, now grown up. Oh, and I have children to go ahead and, like, plop down into their positions as as little like little ah another child <laughs> another child oh no hold up oh another child i asked for this i asked for this i know i asked for this but come on oh my gosh all right all right uh there we go aslan kit kat welcome to your new kid you have a boring smart baby who is actually going to be um let's see hey wolf system you're back up again uh let's actually name you uh Tim. Just Tim Grimdale. There you go. Uh, okay, and then somebody else just had the young parrot trait as well, because there we go. Beloved silkfish and pixel turnip leaf have gone ahead and welcomed in a hard, or, yeah, hardworking, beautiful young child who's actually going to be named, let's see, Hey, it's Cookie Brook. We'll go with Cookie Silkfish. There we go. That's Alari. She's a, she's our artist. Very cool. Phew. Okay. Oh my gosh. As the Queen's Chancellor, I literally just had the best entertainment. How? How could I have lost this entertainment? We we literally just had it. Latte. You know what? You've been single for a long time. You're old. Maybe we'll have you come and be a prankster too, and we'll just say that the pranksters of the kingdom are gonna be the old folks who know the best jobs, or know the best jokes. Now everyone is like struggling with their faith because we don't have enough people being faithful, and we need, we need like to the rats, we need more people like working as guards. I need a million and a half, ah! Oh boy. Oh my gosh. M and East. Did you really just... They did have a new baby. I thought they already had a new baby. Yeah, Ellen. Oh, they lost the new parent trait. Sorry, I was so distraught at the idea of more children to name. <laughs> and we have a homeless villager. Which one of you? It's Annie. Oh, Annie Grimnail has now grown up. Well, can you fit in one of the homes? Oh, perfect match. Oh my gosh. Seagull, congratulations! Music, silver and gold, and public executions happen to be what he's into. These two will have a perfect match, which is adorable. Um, let's see. Music, they don't like med- does he like meditation? Oh dear. Uh, they don't- they like so- no! Uh, Oh my gosh, so I had a really weak date for that one, but I did my best. And don't worry, these two have plenty of time. Their affinity is very high, it's 100%. So their relationship should just shoot through the roof. I feel a little bad, I, I botched their date though, so I'm gonna go ahead and let them have like a couple of gifts to each other. Meg. Meg. Did you literally just die on me? You did.
our assassins are back out in force because we do not have high protection and we're losing faith. The kingdom is descending into chaos and I think it's because we need to have a lot more people in a lot more positions and well, like we need to have more masons. Annie, in you go. We need to have like now the farmers are, are really struggling to keep up with things. We need people everywhere. <laughs> this is... I'm gonna be honest. This is kind of awesome in a way. Seagull, you're really great at being in the mines, please. Because the village is growing a lot and it's quite exciting to see. But I think we need to put a little bit more spit and polish into making sure the right people are, you know, Ziva, you are a five star oh my gosh ziva and laura bell the faith of the kingdom will be restored <laughs> oh my goodness yay i need more stones or here we're gonna go ahead and use our builder tickets laura bell oh and we still don't have enough faith in the rat but we're gonna do our best oh my gosh and far away seed seer she she too she slipped at her job Oh no! <laughs> Our mason! I literally needed masons! <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, and did we end up- we ended up with no new baby. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see. And Sarion, I think you're almost ready for us to make you the crown princess again. Because you're getting a lot of fantastic leadership upgrade at your current occupation as an apprentice priestess. Thank goodness, because apparently we need more faith in this kingdom. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm going to try really hard to just organize a whole bunch of these things. People are, you know, widowed. They're stressed. Now we have even... Oh, Annie and Seagull, they're waiting for the stork to come. That's adorable. Uh, we've got quite a bit going on, don't we? And yet not enough in some regards, like the fact that apparently we have five chairs. What? I don't even... I don't even know what to think about the fact we have five chairs. Uh, I, you know? You know? This is chaos. I do love it. It is chaos, though. Um, could we build the banquet? What? What is it? Oh my gosh, we can make the painter's workshop. <gasps> uh, at least we could go ahead and the queen frazzled. Like, I think probably her hair sticking everywhere just feeling absolutely like what's happening in life can at least say ren gallery is able to go ahead and start making paintings and maybe that will distract the populace from the utter chaos that has become whatever this is in fact look at that now we have ren churning out 18 paintings we put a lot of money into that the queen doesn't care at the moment because maybe it'll make everybody happy I probably should have given our carpenters more nails considering we literally are playing musical chairs with four chairs and 106 people in the kingdom. <laughs> I'm gonna reorganize some of the jobs. Maybe we'll say we had a fantastic summer festival where everyone spends some time at the Temple of the Rat and deciding if they're really on the path they want in life. And we will see where we go next time. <laughs> Bye guys.